Hello fellow stars. Welcome back to my channel. I have something special for you today. I created a challenge. It was originally just an idea I had. I wanted to practice making emotes and I wanted to make them based on Final Fantasy XIV minion. But deciding which minion went with which emote was too much trouble. So I was like, what if I made a list of say 20 emotes and another list of possible minions and then roll the die or something to decide which goes with which. So I did. Well, the minion list was too long for a d20, so they're all on a wheel of death. But there are just 20 emotes on the chart and that's what we're going with. The first minion chosen was Naming Way, a cute little lopperet. Naming Way has also been seen in Final Fantasy 4 and 9, I believe. This one in particular came with the Encyclopedia Eorzea, the lore slash art book that covers all of A Realm Reborn and Heaven's Work. And the emote that got chosen via dice roll is a Hydrate emote. The original idea was to have Naming Way holding a bottle of water with the word Hydrate at the top. However, I found out later that the word is completely illegible, so I'll get rid of it. Also, instead of doing like a plastic bottle of water, I changed to a glass one to fit the world Naming Way is from. I don't think they really have plastic. Certainly not disposable water bottles. The next combination made me laugh really hard because the wheel chose Wind Up Sadu and the die chose the gun emote. Which, if you know Sadu's character, you know is incredibly fitting. My wife laughed too when I first showed her the progress I made and I knew immediately which emote she was laughing at. Sadu is the leader of a tribe of Ora called the Dalthara. I hesitate to say leader because they have a word for it. It's spelled K-H-A-T-U-N, but I cannot for the life of me remember how it's pronounced. Anyways, the Dotharal are one of my favorite Zayla tribes. They are basically warriors who believe when they die in battle, they are reincarnated back into the tribe. And Sadu was badass. Very no nonsense. So for her to be the gun emote was very fitting in my opinion. The third one I have completed is a poor crying wind-up Fuoth. The term Fuoth is from Scottish folklore, specifically Malevolent Water Spear. In the game, there are frog people that play tricks on you, but the trick is usually something like, surprise, more enemies to fight, because, you know, action-adventure role-playing game. I had a little trouble with this one because Fuoth mouths can't really make the shape I had in mind for a crying emote. I did my best though. And then when I tested it for readability at smaller sizes, you couldn't really see the tears. So I had to do a lot of adjusting to make them bigger. Note to self, when making emotes, do things on animation layers. You know, like if something is in front of the face, make it on its own layer for easy editing or animating. And that's all I have for today. I was only able to get three done during my stream on Monday because I wanted to start on the Sailor Cosmos piece that I'm working on. Um, then I ran out of time for that and had to go to bed. <laughs> However, I fully intend to continue the challenge, so stay tuned for more. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and tell me which was your favorite. Naming Wing, Sadu, or the poor little Fuwa. See you next time.